Hello, Ken Weller with New Tech Inventors. We're here in my office today, and what I'm going to be doing is a demonstration of some of the capabilities of the NTI Helping Hand, specifically the 15-piece basic set. This set will be going on sale on my website and on Amazon here very shortly and I wanted to do a video to kind of show some of the things that you can do with this basic starter set. It comes with, as it says in the title, 15 pieces. So I'll walk through and let you know what those 15 pieces are and then I'm going to configure the helping hand using some of those pieces and do some tasks just to give you an idea of how you might be able to use it or how someone may be able to uh, use it themselves. So let's get going. Okay, first of all, you can see that I have a bunch of little things that I purchased, little miniature house things, a uh, car, some uh, N-gauge trains, some circuit boards, so forth. I also have a lot of other items that we'll be using in the demonstration. Let me go ahead and start by showing you some of the items that come with this basic 15-piece kit. Okay, here we go. All right, this is basically what comes with the 15-piece set. You have your table mount helping hand that we have here and the power supply that comes with it. Then we have this USB flex arm camera that comes with it. And we also have a flex arm LED light that comes with it. We have two flex arm alligator clamps that uh, can clamp parts. We have two plastic clamps that come with it. And we have this media adapter. And right now it's connected to the tablet holder that comes with it. And then we have a cell phone holder that will attach to the media adapter. We have a blank filler plate. We have a three port flex arm adapter. We have a flood, LED flood adapter. Of course it comes with a wrench and this is an adapter cable for the USB flex arm camera. It also comes with this extension arm three port adapter and connected to it is the round tool holder. Okay, the 15 piece helping hand table mount consists of number one, the table mount helping hand with the power head and the power supply. Two, the flex arm USB camera. Three, the blank filler. Four, a three port flex arm adapter. Five, a cell phone or a smartphone holder. Six, high powered LED flex arm. Seven and eight are the two alligator clamps. Nine and ten are the two plastic clamps. 11 and 12 are the extension arm three-port holder and round tool holder. 
1314 is the media adapter to port with the tablet holder and 15 is the flood adapter and then of course you have a wrench and uh, an adapter cable for the camera so that's the 15 piece basic kit that we're going to be looking at today and this will be going on sale on Amazon very very soon okay we're going to do a few configurations with these pieces that come with this kit and show you some of the things that it can do we're going to start out using this flex arm LED camera and we're going to put it into our helping hand and position it around here as you can see we can twist it and articulate it into a lot of different positions now one thing that you'll probably want to use with this kit you'll need a Phillips screwdriver any Phillips screwdriver will work and then to enhance the capabilities you'll either want to use your cell phone or maybe a tablet that you have and also if you have a rotary tool you can use that rotary tool with this and we'll be using those items today basically the rotary tool and a tablet to show you some of the um, capabilities here okay let's go ahead and get started we've got the camera mounted let's take our three port adapter and we're going to um, put a few things in this first of all let's put an alligator clamp in and basically what you do is screw it into one of these three threaded ports here okay once you get that screwed in another thing we want to do we also want to uh, put a flex arm LED in here so we're going to screw in to one of the other three ports this flex arm LED okay once we get it screwed in we can install this in the helping hand by putting it in those slots there sliding it into position and then let's put our tablet holder here we can mount the tablet holder up here and have our tablet mounted or we can set it on a tabletop either one so if we're not going to have anything in that top position, put a blank filler in and then lock it in place. Then we'll be able to take our clamp. We take this cable from the light, plug it into one of the three power ports, and then we can turn the power on. And as you can see, we have light here. Next... I'm going to take my tablet, put it in the tablet holder here, and lock it in place. Okay. Now, I've got my tablet. I don't have to have it mounted on the helping hand. I can set it here on the table where I can see it better. Now, what I can do at this point, I can take any object... I'm going to use this white background now just so we can see some things a little clearer. The configuration that we have is using eight of the parts that come with this 15-piece kit. We're using, of course, the helping hand itself. We're using a three-port adapter and the alligator clamp and also a high-powered LED. We're using the 
USB camera adapter, and we're using a filler plate, and we're using the media holder to hold our tablet holder and our tablet. Let's see what we can do with this. Let's take this little railroad car, for example. Okay, it's kind of small. But as you can see, with the light, and we don't need a whole lot of light, so I'm going to back off on the light a little bit right now. Now, if we wanted to work on this railroad car, we could work on the wheels. You can see them a little bit better. You can see that they're very small. When you look at my finger here, if you want to do some intricate work, you can go in here and do some work on these small items like this. Or you can do some painting or touch up with a paintbrush, different paint and so forth. Now, in addition to laying this down here on this surface and working on it, it is possible to take, for example, the clamp. In other words, this item can be suspended in the air and you can see to work on it while it's suspended. And one thing about the helping hand, when you have your camera and your part attached like this, even if things move quite a bit, where there's a lot of movement, as you can see with the camera, the things moving back and forth, but you your camera's moving with it. So if you have some vibrations and stuff, it's not going to affect the view as much. Okay, we have this little house here. It, we have it clamped and we have the camera on it. And we're going in here and maybe we're going to come in here and touch up the paint. Okay, we're looking at this little pumpkin now that's uh, right here. And some of the detail on it. And we can also use our clamp and our camera and look at some of the detail here on our printed circuit board. Some of these various components here. And you can do soldering and repair there. You can see it on the screen here as well that um, we're seeing what we're doing. So, those are some of the things that we can do with this, this USB camera. We can connect the USB camera to the cell phone and use the cell phone as a display device. Another use for the media adapter is you can take your video camera, if you have a regular video camera, mount that video camera on the media adapter and put it on there. And you can record something that you're doing and use it to hold the camera while you're doing some recording. As we said before, use the media adapter with the tablet and have the tablet up there. Okay, another thing that you can do with that is uh, over here, this other camera that we're using, it's actually being used, held by a helping hand, and it can be mounted on the media adapter and used in the helping hand. Now we're going to take the round tool holder and the extension arm adapter and put those, hook those up to a Dremel tool. And then we'll slide that into the position and then we'll configure that however we want it. 
Then we can put our clamp and our LED light on here. Okay, now we've got the configuration with the Dremel tool connected to the round tool holder, which is con connected to the extension arm three-port adapter. Now, we're using two of the ports up here of this straight three-port adapter to hold a clamp and the LED. We can turn the LED on and have light where we're working. I'm purchasing some pieces of plexiglass that I can clamp here and use as a shield so you, you don't have to worry about burrs or something coming back and getting in your eyes or whatever when you're doing grinding. Now instead of a Dremel tool here and doing some grinding or cutting, I could have a hot air gun in there and be using it to heat shrink tubing. Okay, let's take this round tool holder now without a tool. And what we're going to do, we're going to screw in some plastic clamps. We'll put this alligator clamp in the middle. Screw it in. Okay, took, take this alligator clamp, screw it into the center position. And then take the other plastic clamp and put it in this last position out here. Okay, now we'll go ahead and insert this into the helping hand. Put our round tool holder, push it to the back, get it out of our way. Now we can insert our other three-port adapter that has the LED light and plug it in. And it also has an alligator clamp. Okay, now turn the light on. Now in an instance like this, we may have a project that we're working on. Let's say um, we're building a model airplane and we have some wing parts here and we're going to be gluing this wing. Okay, as you can see, have this wing clamped together. Uh, I could have already put the glue on there before I clamped it, and then the clamps will hold that glue dry. And then I could take one of these clamps down there to the end and hold something in position while I glue that. Or I could come in, and I don't think I want my gun, so my Spitfire to be white so I could come in here and paint them a black or silver color or something so I could do some painting here with model building with all the various clamps that you can configure you can um, have a quite a bit of capability there so we see and different hobbies and I have different models here that I'll be working with and using this to demonstrate a little more detail the gluing of these parts and so forth okay simple things like Christmas ornaments okay you can take and get this little snowman here and then you can do your painting and touch up and put different colors, put a red, red cherries here and paint the holly green and so forth. And do all of this while holding the piece steady, putting light on it, and being able to just work with it. So lots of arts and crafts, things like that that you can do with it. A lot of people enjoy making things with jewelry and taking 
beads, making necklaces and stuff. You can also use it to work with jewelry. Um, you can make take beads and do little bracelets. N-T-I Ken. Hmm. How about that? If you need a very bright light, then this floodlight adapter's the way to go. You can see with this light, it's a certain brightness. But when you go here, you have a very intense light. This could be for doing special electronic work or something where you really want to have a lot of light on the board. If you need a lot of extra light, this is the deal right here. You can see it's a whole lot lighter than the high intensity light that we get from the flex arm light. We'll turn the flex arm off and turn that one on. You can see it's much brighter. So, as you can see, the helping hand can be configured with cameras, with LED lights, with different clamps, with Dremel tools and tool holders, many different configurations. I'm sure that anyone out there can come up with a number that we haven't even thought of yet. Okay, now we've got the configuration with the Dremel tool connected to the round tool holder, which is connected to the extension arm three port adapter. Now we're using two of the ports up here of this straight three port adapter to hold a clamp and the LED. We can turn the LED on, have light where we're working. The clamp is for a, what I'm going to use it for is I'm purchasing some pieces of plexiglass that I can clamp here and use as a shield so you, you don't have to worry about burrs or something coming back and getting in your eyes or whatever when you're doing grinding. This is uh, basically the configuration using the round tool holder. Now instead of a Dremel tool here and doing some grinding or cutting, I could have a hot air gun in there and be using it to heat shrink tubing. Okay, let's take this round tool holder now without a tool. And what we're going to do, we're going to screw in some plastic clamps and we'll put this alligator clamp in the middle screw it in okay to take this alligator clamp screw it into the center position and then Take the other plastic clamp and put it in this last position out here. Okay, now we'll go ahead and insert this into the helping hand. Put our round tool holder, push it to the back, get it out of our way. Now we can insert our other three port adapter that has the LED light. And plug it in and it also has an alligator clamp okay now turn the light on now in an instance like this we may have a project that we're working on let's say um, we're building a model airplane and we have some wing parts here and we want to put the wing cover over it and we want to hold everything in place because we're going to be 
gluing this wing as this wing clamped together I could have already put the glue on there before I clamped it take one of these clamps down there to the end and hold something in position while I glue that or I could come in and I don't think I want my gun so my Spitfire to be white so I could come in here and paint them a black or silver color or something so I could do some painting here with model building with all the various clamps that you can configure you can uh, have a quite a bit of capability there so we see in different hobbies and I have different models here that I'll be working with and using this to demonstrate a little more detail the gluing of these parts and so forth. Okay, simple things like Christmas ornaments. This is something that you can take and get this little snowman here and then you can do your painting and touch up and put different colors, put a red, red cherries here and paint the holly green and so forth and do all of this while holding the piece steady, putting light on it and being able to just work with it. So lots of arts and crafts, things like that that you can do with it. A lot of people enjoy making things with jewelry and taking beads, making necklaces and stuff. You can also use it to work with jewelry. You can make take beads and do little bracelets and TI can. Hmm. How about that? If you need a very bright light, then this floodlight adapter is the way to go. You can see with this light, it's a certain brightness. But when you go here, if you have a very intense light, this could be for doing some special electronic work or something where you really want to have a lot of light on the board. You can see it's a whole lot lighter than the high intensity light that we get from the flex arm light. We'll turn the flex arm off and turn that one on. You can see it's much brighter. So as you can see the helping hand can be configured with cameras, with LED lights with different clamps with dremel tools and tool holders many different configurations i'm sure that anyone out there can come up with a number that we haven't even thought of yet 